Hello everyone, Wednesday 6 p.m. ELM Live. I'm here right in front of you and with a very, very exciting session. A very exciting person, uh, someone uh, I've been tracking for a long period of time now. I was fortunate to do face-to-face -face with him a couple of months ago. In fact, he was part of my initial effort of face-to-face. -face. And why? what a face-to-face -face it was. It gave a lot of clarity on a unique strategy called option scalping. Um, you know, before I call Shiva, I just want to say that scalping has been very close to my heart. I started my commodities thing with scalping, although commodities gives an opportunity to scalp for many, many hours because it used to start at 10 and it used to conclude by 11.30. So for people who are active in the market, scalping has always been a great stepping stone to a you know rewarding trading career because scalping gives you immediate action more engagement with the market and better chance of making money every day so shiva uh, i have been able to you know know him and know his style and i can tell you that uh, he's one of those genuine guys i know that who have been doing great work for investor education community so let me welcome shiva now uh, hello shiva kumar hey uh, vivek how are you like an uh probably like and you mentioned one point wherein we said you said that like and we had the face to face two months back but it's been two two and a half years now but like in the we had i think you must have like an added as it like in a two month experience but the days goes by pretty fast yeah it does <laughs> it's been two years i mean uh true kudos true. to you uh for you know being there in the market and making a lot of money for the last two years doing this scalping because typically people say that market strategies, they do become obsolete after a part of time. Uh, I wouldn't uh, fully agree with that, Vivek. The reason why I say that, like, an, whatever the we had initially two years back, if you remember, I continue mm. to use the same strategy. I don't use like an, uh, different strategies. Maybe I would have fine tuned it and refined it a bit. But mm. people who have been like and getting trained in the last two years or three years under me, we have been using the same strategies. Maybe we are improvising a bit just to survive in the market but trust me any strategy you don't require like an uh, you needed to invent like a thousand strategies just one or two stick to it with discipline you need to know when you needed to like an apply your strategy in the market if you're able to do it successfully you will be able to enter and exit at any given day <laughs> hold on we'll talk about this improvisation which you have done on the strategy because last time face to face two years ago you gave me a bird eye view on the strategy and i was quite impressed with that now I'm very eager to know the improvisation part. But before that, uh, let us talk about market a bit. Uh, I know you, you are a great market commentator. You, you talk about market very passionately and you follow market very religiously. So tell me, um, where do you see market going? It's kind of a dicey situation, isn't it? Like an, yeah, it is a dicey situation, but the people who have been following the market this month, at least they would have known. Uh, like an any highs that is getting like an uh, market moving towards the higher highs, it is getting a clear sell off. And most important thing, once the dollar index has crossed at 93, 94, and the Diwali time was the only time wherein the market was holding off and people wanting to invest and do all those things, the value feed I've been saying the crack has been real good. And I don't know whether you have noticed it. In the last 20 years of Nifty history, every year Nifty used to touch the 200, day, 200 EMA. So yeah. This is going to be the first year wherein the Nifty is not going to do it unless and until we have some surprises in the next one month or so, wherein the 16,000 level is going to be the level wherein I'm keenly watching for. If at all, if it goes to 16K, probably like in the history, if it can repeat, that is going to be like in one hell of a rally, which is going to be happening in the next one and a half months. But to me, uh, 17,600 is going to be a tough one to crack, considering the way the market has given up even today. Bank Nifty, which was supposed to be the strongest one, even that couldn't like and sustain. I say a bank with a strong result, one of the best results in the last uh, century. They were not able to hold that 840, 850 levels. Many people are expecting 1,000, 1,200. The targets were given by all the brokerage firm were above 1,000. But these guys are again back to the same level before the results. So that tells you this market is not in a hurry to go towards the all-time highs. Maybe if we can have some kind of a positive impact coming in from the U.S. along with like an, uh, some uh, cool off in the inflation and the bond yields cooling down, there is a probability. But looking at the current scenario, the market might be in a dicey situation as you store. All right. 
So tell me, as a scalper, um, mm-hmm. do you really need to know what the market is expected to do? Uh, I will always be looking for a larger trend to know how the market is going to behave. Should I be, be there on the C side or on the P side? Even as a scalper, we don't like and jump in on both call and the put on a single day unless and until market changes the color. In the morning today, we played on the call side. In the afternoon, if you'd have asked me, once the VWAP is getting like and broken with a significant volume, then naturally I would have focused on the put side. So intraday, yes, we needed to know about the market sentiment. For additional play, I would always be tracking it in case if I wanted to do for some long-term investment or nothing. For a scalping, I don't think you needed to know much beyond what is going to be happening on that particular day. Okay. So tell me, Shiva, how was the day today? Uh, let's talk about today only. So you started, and how was the position? Did you make money? Did you lose money? How was like, it? Okay, probably like, and if you need, I can uh, share my screen. That will help yes. you to see my trade, what we have done today. So we were having a live session with some of the team members today. And okay. let me just quickly... Uh, uh, okay, so this is the one couple of trades which we entered it today, uh, uh, Vivek. So on the Bank Nifty. In the morning, the market opened and then like, and it was in the flat territory. Somewhere sorry around to, like- Sorry to interrupt you in the middle. So we are not able to see the screen. Could you share the screen? Try it once again. Yes. I hope you are able yeah. to see it now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, yes. I can see the screen now. Okay, great. So what we were doing is in the morning, we were not doing much of trades. Our uh-huh. first trade only came at 10.28. As a scalper, this is something which uh, like, and I'm going to be showcasing it in our like, and live event as well. How to get an entry and exit in a two candle theory. This is going to be the most important one. Our okay. only trade in the morning came at around like in 1027. Once the bank mm-hmm. nifty gave a volume breakout, along with all the parameters getting fulfilled, like the v- trading above the VWAP, the super trend and the PSR giving me a buy signal, the RSI was above like in 60 and mm-hmm. then the short cover everything gave me a perfect clue for me to enter so what mm. we did once the breakout happened we entered a 102802 1028 to 1030 that particular candle was my entry mm. watch it for this the breakout is mm. here we mm. entered on this one exited at 103132 from 500 to 560 and we made a cool uh, 5960k on that one trade so if you're a scalper all you require is you don't need to be in hold through the day Okay, you mm. need a right momentum and then the right trade, and then you can get it done. And followed by that, we were doing like a lot of scalping. What we were doing is we were also entering on 1148 candle. If you'd have seen the 1148 candle, mm-hmm. just a minute, I'll just show you the 1148. Yes, this is the one. What we were looking for is once it broke the super trend, I was again looking for the super trend to be broken. Once mm-hmm. it broke, immediately on the downside again and moreover the trend was completely bullish today so entered mm. on this candle at 11:48, and we exited at like in uh, oh, 507 again we entered the reason is some of the strikes got like in uh, uh, like in the trailing stop loss got hit at 507 we got mm-hmm. it at again at 504 we exited at 553 and what was the timing 11:48 to 11:52, 12:6 to 12 10. so mm. even with small trades the day is going to be like an Moreover, like my target is like an 1% intraday. So if I achieve it, if I am able to do it in one or two trades, that's more than sufficient for me. And then from there, I will be start taking small, small risk, not like in a large one. Keep taking a small like 100, 200 quantities and then keep scalping all through the day, wherever the market is trending. If you have been seeing on the second half, I completely skipped it. On Wednesday afternoon, usually due to the theta and then the like an uh, expiry play, we don't want to be there in the market. We made enough money. We made like in close to two lakhs in the morning itself. So there is no point in me going and fighting with the market once it broke the VWAP in the afternoon. And moreover, we didn't get a complete volume confirmation on the Bank Nifty. It was Nifty which was giving like an, an more of a downside play. Bank Nifty mm-hmm. was just like an, uh, doing a catch-up game just because of Nifty is falling. I also needed to fall. For some of our users, they would have entered on this candle somewhere around 215 perfect like in a volume drop the signal also came in out and then the market almost cracked from 17,500 odd levels to 17,366 so if you're a scalper all you need is just one or two good trades for you to just move on rather than like and looking at anything else 
Awesome, awesome. Uh, tell me, uh, when you are doing option scalping, as you said that uh, if the market is going up, you prefer call, and if the market is going down, you prefer put. Uh, which one you make more money? Is it the put which makes you more money or the call? Honestly, like, and we don't look at the call or a put, uh, Vivek. What we mostly look at is if the volume breakout is happening, either on the call side or on the put side, I wanted a complete clear confirmation that the first and the second volume bar on the Bank Nifty gives me more than 50K. If okay. the ascending order candle is appearing, the volume bar is ascending, and then we are getting a full bodied green wake or a red wake on either side, I'm mm -hmm. happy to enter on the third candle. There are trades which can give you 10 rupees, there are trades which can give you like 100 rupees one minute or two minutes, three minutes. But the momentum, okay. that is going to be key for me there. Okay. So uh, when you are doing scalping, that means uh, you are doing scalping in futures? No. We are only doing it in the option segment. We don't do so, it in the futures. The reason, pure reason is the higher transaction cost. Your margin mm -hmm. requirement is much higher. Here, I will be able to buy like in 2,000 quantities or like in 1,000 quantities at one go with like in 1 lakh capital. Whereas if you require to buy like in two lots, you would naturally require like in 2 to 2.5. Mm -hmm. on the future side, which is not going to be giving. And moreover, the, the amount of money which you're going to be making for scalping, it is going to be like in 5, 10, and 15 rupees. And the brokerage and the transaction charges which you're going to be paying is going to be huge. So we don't prefer the scalping to be done in the futures. Oh, okay. So again, I'm repeating the same question which I asked earlier. So when you are scalping uh, the options, um, uh, do you decide whether I have to scalp call option or the put option? I will be both. If I'm able to see an opportunity available, both on the call side and on the put side, 90% of the time, the market is going to be zigzag. If okay. you know if you can play between the VWAP and the super trend, that is usually mm -hmm. people, we call it as a no trade zone. But okay. when it comes to the super, like a VWAP level, I'll go buy a call. Once okay. it goes to the super trend, again, I will buy a put. The reason is it's not going to have a breakout over there because the, most of the time, the market is going to be in a zigzag. <laughs> Mm. So in that scenario, we will be able to make money call and then buying a put. But to be like an unstable scalper, unless and until you get comfortable, try to play on the direction of the market. If the direction is going to be on the call side, unless they break the VWAP, don't play it on the P, keep on playing it on the call side. If the market is breaking the VWAP and then playing below, then you can look at the PE as a scalping option. Okay. Shiva, you know, I, I have something. Uh, someone, uh, I think, tweeted me or mailed me okay. that uh, Shiva's theory of option scalping is uh, is nothing. He What he does is he only averages. That means if suppose <laughs> you have got a call and if the price goes down, you will average, you will average. And finally, when the market goes up, you make money. So, okay. I mean, people will <laughs> say all kind of things. You give reply to this question. No, like, an, okay, so Vivek, you tell me honestly, this is a market which we did today, correct? Yeah. Okay, let me just show you this trade. Share the screen. Uh, today, your internet is giving some trouble. Your your video is getting hung in the middle. But nonetheless, oh. we are still able to follow you. That's okay. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the trade which we have done today. Okay, so you mm -hmm. tell me, is this a breakout or this is an averaging trade? If I would have been averaging, I should be doing it here. Yeah. The candle here, I would have easily got the same strike at 200, 300 rupees, right? We are, we are waiting for the market to break out. And once the breakout is happening, we are buying the same one on the move. I could have easily bought it at 400 or 300, which we mm -hmm. didn't buy it. We were buying it at 526 to 500 odd range. You needed to have a pyramiding system in place, wherein you just needed to buy within that range and then once it is above your buy price, keep trailing it. So basically, at the end of the day, at the end of the day if I would have yeah. been averaging what we do is, the market would be keep on falling below the VWAP and everything, and I will keep on averaging it. That yeah. we are not doing it. Even as a scalper, as a descriptionary method, we have certain rules and regulations to be followed. We cannot be just yeah. blindly keep on averaging the quantity and then like I'm losing out the money. That can't be done. Yeah. So I think it's a great reply and uh, people should understand because I was also a scalper. So I understand this science quite well. <laughs> Typically, a good scalper does averaging, but on profit when you are on the right side of the trade, right? Because you want to make big money. You can't just be holding on one position when you are right on the trend. Uh, uh, Vivek, one more answer to like, and yeah. just to add, even if you're doing an averaging, 
today we would have done like in 50 odd trades the, all the trades were shown with the live market participants as well and none of those trades were in closed in green my key focus is to close the trades in green mm. i don't care mm. whether i average it at the lower level or at the higher level the beauty of averaging is if you are able to get the exit out mm. 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 like and they are not able to do it they will not be able to average it properly the reason is most of the time they deploy all the capital at the higher level mm. when the man like and when the market moves lower near to the support or the resistance zone they will not have money to average and they panic and they lose out that's oh. a most important aspect where many traders lose it and most importantly option buying is the most difficult uh, game in the market you would uh, agree say, like an almost if you have a large capital you will be able to do it being an option buyer that's going to be the difficult like and wherein you need to be like and real on top of the game to get and trade down in your favor and get an exit so it is easy to say but difficult to execute that's where like a 90% of the traders fail and then they feel that like and no this can't be done at all it can yeah. be done if you follow it with discipline yes correct correct so basically what you are saying that your model of uh, using super trend and viva or whatever your core model is mm -hmm. uh, that model is giving you a signal and you right. are using options to trade that signal now till the signal is there you won't mind averaging because your core decision making is happening through that model okay absolutely you're yes. not averaging on that model because that's like <laughs> committing suicide right Vivek, say for example when you're buying something at 400 i know this has gone above the vwap and it is going to be keep moving higher and higher Market is falling. I'm not going to be averaging all the way down it until it goes to zero. I know yeah. VWAP is going to be the level because that is a volume weighted average price where the biggies will come try to take a support. Wherein they were, they would have already deployed their capital. Imagine yeah. someone who would have put 100 crores. I don't mind putting my 10 lakhs. If yeah. I'm going to be losing one lakh, that guy is going to be losing like a 50 crore there. So yeah. I don't mind taking a risk on a large guy who's going to be putting 200 crores and my 10 lakh capital is absolutely nothing in this market. But right, right. to average only till a level where this guy is going to hold. This guy is not going to be holding all the way down. He is going to throw the towel once it breaks the VWAP. I will also do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Out of 10 trades, if I can become profitable on 8 trade, that's more mm -hmm. than sufficient for us. True, true, true. Guys, I uh, just want to you know uh, throw a caveat here that scalping looks very easy. But it's actually a science which has to be well understood. Uh, you know, Hindi mein kehte hai na ki isko... Uh, uh, so, so much ke ghar pe try ki jayega. So this is this is actually a, a science which is if and if you master it, trust me, this is I have traders in my trading desk and they have been scalper for so many years and it's a bread earner easily. I mean it's a it's a car earner, it's a lifestyle earner, but you have to do it the right way. And Shiva, I think you have cracked that code quite well. Um, and obviously, you the good part is that you train people on that and you have. Uh, case studies, people who have succeeded by doing that. In fact, in December, uh, you'll be conducting a session with Elon Markets on this scalping and you, you have a you have something unique strategy which you're going to share, right? That's right, uh, Vivek. Like, what are the things which we have shared it like in a couple of years back with you? I have refined it more. And what I have okay. done this time is I've also like and given a character to all the indicators. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you a, like in a small example of how the session is going to be. I hope you are able to see my screen now. So the yeah. session is purely going to be on two candle theory. Okay. What we are going to be doing is not only training, we will also be showcasing how this two candle theory works in the live market. And oh. I have mentioned it like and we are going to be using a kingdom game. What I have done is I have given some characters to each of the indicators which I use. Mm -hmm. how each of these indicators like in the queen or the territory the rsi which i call it the weapons which is nothing but the volume and then the candles which is equal to my battles along with that i've also given some indicators like the bishop the knight the pawn and the rook these guys are going to represent the parabolic sar the super tap and the wma so how these guys can help you out you as a king you just needed to deploy your money and queen for me, the open interest is the biggest one, which I would consider like next to God. So open interest is equal to the queen and how your queen is going to help you determine how you needed to take a trade on the upside or on the downside when the market is moving around. So your participants are going to have some exciting three days, which I can offer like and uh, tell you that because these things we are going to be not only like an, uh, doing it like an as a training session, we'll be doing it at the live trading as well.
So how the two candle works in the actual market, which we are going to be showcasing it to them. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Shiva, you are a great storyteller and you really know how to teach students. So I'm sure that people will find your new style uh, or I would say the 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 relevant style uh, teaching with the students and the participants will find it very valuable. And I've seen most of the time that uh, when you are trading live during the training sessions, it has always been a productive. Someone told me that in Traders Carnival, you went, uh, you made uh, good money there, huh? That day. <laughs> yeah, we made good money. And like and most important thing is uh, uh, we are not going to be trading through the day. I was just commentating over there and we were like in uh, doing uh, like in the live trading. So we made yeah. close to like in four or five lakhs over there. That's a good decent mm -hmm. profit. My usual target is around like in one lakh a day uh -huh. because I deploy like in one CR and I, all I look for is just one percent a day. Which I do it consistently. On that particular day, like and the market was like, like and uh, good enough. Uh, thank God, like and we were able to make five lakh. And most importantly, the participants were also enjoying with all the things which we were sharing it with them. Awesome. So, guys, uh, if you want to learn his science and uh, you know adapt it totally, then this is a session in December which is conducting, and I'm going to share the link with you. And Shiva, you know what? Elon markets learners are non-entertainment seekers. They are serious <laughs> learners. They believe that they can do it. That's why they are associated with us. So for them specifically, uh, VB25 is the code which I want to give to all my YouTube learners. Use okay. VB25 code. That's Vivek Pajaj, VB25. And uh, do take this program. Uh, Shiva, I, I have seen most of the time, you know, I know limited few people who, who really adds value irrespective of anything listening to shiva for those three days will itself be such a learning process you may you may prefer not to trade his time that's your uh, prerogative but listening to him doing commentary and i, I have attended a lot, lot of his program and i've learned myself that the way he analyzes the market the way he acts in the market if you really want to learn the trading temperament uh, along with strategy i think this is one session which you should not miss sitting at home at the comfort of your laptop in your EC, uh, you don't have to travel to Hyderabad to uh, you know, attend these sessions. It's there right for you. So do uh, attend this in December. Uh, I generally don't say this uh, for many people, but uh, I think uh, this session will, uh, will be a great learning session for a lot of our learners. Uh, Shiva, I would like to take uh, some questions from the idea of EMM Live is to take questions also and you know, uh, engage you with the audience and I become the host for the sessions. Because face-to-face -face was all about you and me. But now <laughs> I want people also True. to ask. Uh, and we are going to take it till, uh, so we have time till 6.45. So we have Perfect. time now to take questions. So let me see. Uh, I'm going to pick some questions, relevant ones. Oh, well, this is interesting. I don't know. Um, I don't know, Shiva, do you look at these things that US market is all time high, the why Indian market is falling, why FI keeps on selling? Does it matter to you? Honestly, the first indicator which I started seeing it in 2007 is the Dow futures. Okay, so yes, it matters a lot. When the US market is at all time high, yes, many people would be expecting like and why our markets are falling. Like in a couple of per months back, when our markets were like in all time highs, US markets were falling. None, none, none asked this question at that time. But the important thing to be noted here is with the crude impact and along with the dollar index, dollar index is something which many people are not observing it nowadays. Usually you would have known it like and when the dollar index goes tra trades above the 93, 94 mark, usually the funds move out from the emerging economies goes to the developed economies. And that's exactly been the scenario which is happening because they are not going to be making much funds, moving the funds to emerging economies. And moreover, China's growth story was like in stagnant last year. And that story was like and bought as that India is going to be the next destination that is going to be like and moving around. But you cannot be pumping the market every year with 50%, 100% move and it has to like and stagnate. And the, like and the P multiples, what you are like and getting at some of the IPOs, it's totally scary. And this cannot be sustaining also a long time. And market needs a correction. And definitely, yes, it is going to have like in the people who would have entered in the COVID traders, they will definitely going to have a tough time managing their like in portfolio because they would not have seen this kind of a crack which is happening in their portfolio. When they are seeing like in a 10%, 20% fall, they are going to be having serious doubt in their mind. Will I be ever be able to recover and make money? 
and some of the stocks they have to give up and then move on to the ones which is going to be performing here it is going to be testing most of the newcomers who would have got into the market in the last few years and the most important thing is don't always relate with positionally that us is like and performing and our market was also going to be doing it if you have seen some time back the dow hang seng and Nif bank nifty all used to travel together if you yeah. have seen in the last one year hang seng has completely like and fallen way back the dow and then the like and bank nifty has been rallying a lot but now is a time wherein all three guys are going to be like and getting back together they are going to be moving around and like and most importantly these ups and downs it's going to happen based on the dollar index and the crude and other impacts and moreover what is the next clue we had the result season the results have been like an amazing for some companies results have been average for some there is no major cues which are coming in an indian market for them to like and move on to the next stage that's the reason nothing else sure 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 so tell me shiva uh, typical morning uh, how does it look like you get up at what time 4 o'clock <laughs> honestly like an uh, i go to bed at around like 11 11:30 sometimes 12 okay. but wake up at around like an 6:30 to 7 do my morning okay. routines and then like an uh, catch up with all the world markets and other things okay. uh, give my market update uh, to all my participants around like an 8 o'clock and uh, by 8:30 set my trading desk and everything ready how my like and breakfast if it is ready otherwise like and uh, skip my morning breakfast till 10 a.m. because usually we start the session sometimes at 8:30 and then have the breakfast at 10 but i will be there definitely for the opening trade because opening trade is one of my favorite uh, trades which i would normally do it if i'm really confident on the opening trade 9:15 to 9:20 i should be done and out and then focus the market and see what are the other things which is happening based on the data which is going to be available the next important trade is going to be between like an 10 and 12 and if i'm able to accomplish my targets between 10 and 12 i would be done for the day try to avoid any trades usually the second half is usually i use it for testing in case if i'm finding any new strategies how the market is working out try it with small lots by 3:30 wind down the markets 3:30 to 4:30 give some time for my family and then like and uh, with the kids sometime like until 5:30 5:30 5:30 again catch up with all the emails or whatsapp groups and telegrams and like and whatever the things need to be done try to catch up with my dinner at 8:00 8:30 go to bed by like 11 so the routine is going to be pretty much similar to yours actually but the only thing is i don't do workout and other things the way you have been able to plan yourself that's something which i used to amaze how this guy is able to do every day the cycling and other things <laughs> <laughs> so you have a much more intense uh, morning market sessions yeah. and i have that as very light because i have a theory that i mean uh, especially in cash market if you react in the morning then you are reacting at the wrong price <laughs> typically in cash market the evening prices are more efficient price because by the time all the reactions have been taken care of so of obviously you are an options trader futures or options trader so you need to be there but tell me uh, where is singapore nifty in this in this plan you don't see or you should uh, see like like and uh, if you would have asked me that question uh, two three years back then i would have said yes i do track it like an whole night in the following morning and other things i don't use it like and since the time uh, we had the uh, issue with the nse and the singapore nifty yeah, and then yeah. the volume that got started to trade is very very minimal so i don't yeah. give much of importance to that i give more importance to the us futures how the us markets closed the previous day how nikke and hang seng trades between 7 and 9 that is going to be the most important parameters which i look at i don't give too much of importance to the singapore nifty sure sure so let me ask this question on behalf of avinash uh, hmm. how to select strike price for option trading in index like bank nifty or nifty by seeing the spot price or the futures price okay so 90% of the time i trade in bank nifty futures because i love volatility bank nifty is my darling so i will focus more on the bank nifty and as an option buyer i always look for the future chart because the price is going to be though on the expiry day the settlement and everything is going to be happening on the spot but i don't look at the spot price unless and until there is a massive difference between the future and the spot if there is a huge premium or huge discount then yes i would consider both otherwise i will normally go with the futures and if i'm selecting a strike i will always go for in the money or deep in the money if it is going to be on fridays i will look at at the money or like an otm strikes considering we have like another 4 5 days for the expiry but if it is going to be monday tuesday and wednesday i always go for the in the money or at the money if the spot is trading at 38k you can look at taking a call trade at 37700 or 37800 which is going to be trading at somewhere around 300 to 400 bucks wherein the premium also will be like a moving pretty fast you can easily scalp like in 20 30 points or 40 points whereas if you are going to be looking at otm strike 
if you're trading in 100 rupees, which is going to be like in 203 points away from the future price, if there is going to be a fall, you will never going to be able to get the premium price again to the same level unless and until the market is going to do a massive recovery. So that's a reason. Always prefer the ITMs. ITM is for the buyers. OTMs is for the sellers. The mistake, biggest mistake many novice traders do is I want quantity rather than quality. ITM is quality for me. OTM is quantity for me. I don't want quantity. I want quality. Even with one or two lots, you will be able to accomplish your 1% rather than choosing an OTM strike, thinking that I will be able to get a massive money using this quantity. That's not going to happen. You are going to feed into the sellers, which I don't want our users to do that. Awesome. So ITM is for the buyers and OTM is for the sellers. Such a lovely thought and the pearls of wisdom. So guys, December is going to be the session and you'll get so much of these. Again, I'm telling you, you may prefer not to trade his strategy, but you have to listen to him because there's so much inside him, which he will share candidly with all of you. This is an interesting question. And you know, Shiva, I'm going to interrogate you on this. <laughs> Mr. Nanda Kumar, thank you so much for asking this question. He's trading 915, he's trading. You please, the world wants to know how are you trading 915, yeah? Okay. So what I normally do is I have an EOD analyzer. We look at the data end of the day. Okay, so today if I would have seen the data, like in okay, let me give you like in uh, what you guys are going to be doing it for tomorrow. Where yeah. the bank nifty closed, where the nifty closed. Both closed it at the day's low. In fact, mm -hmm. like in Bank Nifty didn't, but like in the Nifty closed almost literally at the day's low. Now I already have a clarity that tomorrow morning, no matter what, I'm going to be going on the put side for my opening trade. Yes, the last 30 minutes, there was a huge fall. You're going to be seeing an adjusted rate, which is going to be happening at 8.30, whenever the, like in the uh, bow copy is going to be coming in, you will be seeing like, in, you'd be surprised why the market fell and closed from there, a hundred point or 50 point jump. Yes, the 50 point jump would have happened due to the 3 to 3.30 adjustment. Now, the biggest clue is I know where is the direction which I'm going to be trading, which is going to be on the PE side. The next clue which I will be looking at is how the Dow market is going to be trading tonight. If the Dow is going to be in the positive tonight, I think we are going to be getting the Fed minutes also at 11.30 today. If the Fed minute is going to be having an impact, we may see some kind of a market reaction happening in the US markets. And followed by that, if there is going to be any move happening on the dollar index, keenly watch that today. Already it was trading at somewhere around 96.5. If it is heading towards 97 or 97.5, that is going to be a biggest dampener for our market tomorrow. Sure. I don't want it to be a, like in a big gap down tomorrow because I all, honestly, I wanted to get on the put side tomorrow morning. If mm -hmm. it is going to be a big gap down and if the RSI is going to be opening below the 20 mark on the futures, then there is no point in chasing. I will look for a bounce for me to short it or buy a put. That is my game plan for tomorrow. So 9.15, once you know that this is what the trend is, you needed to get in and get out. And the most important things, opening trade is not going to be for working for everyone. Why? You needed to have a clear plan. There are some days wherein the market can go completely against you. You needed to buy it. And once it is above your buy price, keep trailing. Never hold the position thinking that, no, 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 I bought it at 300. It will somehow go to 500. No hope trade. If we are buying at 300, once it goes about to 320, I will place my trailing stop loss at 310. Sometimes it can come and hit my trailing stop loss. Sometimes it can go to 400 also. If I'm lucky enough on that day, I might get 100 rupees. If I'm not, I might get 10. I'm happy with that and I will exit the market. And moreover, 915 trades, if I'm really confident, I'll go with a heavy quantity, which I say heavy quantity, I will go with 15% of my capital. If not, I'll go with 5% of my capital, nothing beyond that. But Shiva, you know, I, I have a you know reservation in this and let's let's uh, fight it out. Okay. okay. Uh, 915, especially in options, uh, because mm -hmm. every day option fair price could mm -hmm. be unique because mm -hmm. uh, you know volatility can be unique and time theta <laughs> decade could be unique. So 915, actually for an individual retail trader mm -hmm. to come out with that number that this could be the fair price and put a bid on that fair price, don't you think it would, would be kind of risky? <laughs> I, like uh, considering what I have been doing it in the last three years, uh, Vivek, I'll just show you what we have developed actually. Internally, mm -hmm. like and over a period of time, it all like and whatever the things which I have done, it is purely based mm -hmm. on the experience which we have done. Today, mm -hmm. like and uh, I'm just sharing you like and what we have analyzed it. Mm -hmm. If you look at this particular moment, this particular data comes out in our system by 911. Okay, based mm -hmm. on the pre-market data, whatever the things which we needed to look at, we have used an artificial intelligence to analyze everything, and then it gives me a range 
Shivai, anything if the market is opening for this 17,400 between this range, you are good to go. Anything mm -hmm. below or anything above, I'm not going to be entering into the trade at all. But mm -hmm. this is for the Nifty. Today, Bank Nifty, we didn't have any signal. Then that means like, and there is no opening trade for me at all. So mm -hmm. it doesn't like, and always give me the signal. But what if you have done is, based on my mind, however, I'm reading the world markets and other things, I've given an artificial intelligence to our system to understand if the market is going to be opening between this range, I'm going to be entering. And more importantly, as you said, yes, the theta effect, you do not know the, where the option price is going to be opening. That's the reason you're going to be playing in the ITM strike. By 9-7, you will have the Bank Nifty spot where it is trading. Imagine oh, today, oh. the Bank Nifty is try trading at 37,400. Uh -huh. Tomorrow is going two days for the expiry. I'm looking at 37,200. Where it can be actually trading, it can trade at maximum of 250 to 300 rupees. With one day to go for the expiry, I'm going to be giving you the 50 rupee premium to the seller. You take that advantage. You have the 50 rupee premium. I know if the market is going to be moving another 100 points, I can easily scalp 50 points. That is what I wanted it in the 915. Nothing else. And moreover, I'm not chasing an OTM. I'm going for the in the money strike. In the money, you're not going to have much of premium, maybe a 40 or 50 rupee premium based on the day. If it is going to be Friday, yes, naturally 150 rupee premium is going to be there. And again, I will be looking at the IV values. As of now, the IV values are comfortable somewhere. It is trading at 20, 30 range. Not like in a, like in a COVID period where the IV range was almost at 90. And that particular time, at the money was trading at 1000 rupees, which yes, as an option buyer, that is the time for me to pack my bags, go for a nice vacation, come back and enjoy myself. That's not an ideal market for the option buyers. But this, what? you need to like, in, for me, the vol volatility is something important and you're not going to be getting the volatility beyond 1030. Make use of it. When the volatility is there, get in, get out, make the day count. Awesome, awesome. Uh, this is interesting by Sovan. He's asking that, uh, you know, scalping, uh, if you pay high charges, then obviously scalping becomes unviable. So if you add taxes and other charges, how much is the uh, cost in one lot of Bank Nifty in terms of tick? Oh, like and uh, many people have the per perception that like and scalping will require like and uh, what to say, a lot of taxes to be paid and other things. Might like an uh, BP or the break-even cost is just 15 paise even if I'm entering in, in the money. Oh, wow. You wow. include your like and transaction cards, charges, the STT cost, whatever the like and daily turnover cost, everything, the stamp duty. Uh, only thing is choose a discount broker who gives you like an unlimited plan. And then the other transaction cost and other things, which is not going to cost you beyond 15 paise. That's the reason I say even one rupee above my buy price, I'm happy because I'm going to be getting that one rupee from someone else and it is not my money. So scalping, many people have the perception that no, 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 you needed to pay. Like, and that's the reason we are not choosing the futures. We are choosing only the options. Futures, right. yes, you will have a lot of charges and transaction costs are going to be higher, but you always look at the options to trade. Got it, got it. Well, uh, just to inform my learners, uh, not promoting anyone, but Kotak has unlimited broking plan. <laughs> because they've invested in me, I thought I should inform you guys that <laughs> for internet, you can do unlimited trades with Kotak uh, Freedom Plan and it's a very good plan for active traders. Vivek, you should ask them to try it for a month and then yeah. you can check the feedback as well. Because I don't yeah. think if they are trying it in, in the money options as well, it's not going to cost mm -hmm. them beyond 15 paise, whatever the cost yeah. they will be looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. So guys, um, Try करके देखो एक महीना थोड़ा पैसा लगा के देखो try करके देखो try नहीं करोगे तो कैसे चलेगा <laughs> I am sure you can do it and uh, Shiva is there to uh, help you uh, know the process of doing it uh, let me just figure out some other questions uh, so Shiva uh, we talked about 915 strategy but obviously scalping is not just that 915 what you are technically saying because there is some confusion out there what you are technically saying that morning sessions are having good volatility so till 10 30 if you mm -hmm. can find out scalping trades there is a chance that you'll make good money during that time right true true look at this uh, like an even for today like in uh, Vivek, i'll just show you that one sec if you'd have seen today's chart on the bank nifty mm -hmm. can't see one sec by the way shiva we have just reached thousand live attendees wow. in your section so okay it's a power of shiva <laughs> power of Great. god shiva <laughs> no, 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 no. Like an uh, okay. So look at this particular uh, screen today, Vivek. So if you'd have seen this, the market opened. This is the opening candle. 
it opened at uh, 36,921, went to a low of almost uh, 36,662. This is mm -hmm. a 300 point fall. And then from here, it went all the way to 30. Okay, where is this? 37,148. Mm -hmm. Another 500 point pull. How many minutes it took? From 915 to this is, sorry, this is 930. You had 500 point fall and then the 500 point pullback for mm -hmm. you to make your 1%. Is this not enough for volatility? <laughs> what else we need between 915 and 930? This is exactly we wanted it. And we have created a few strategies how you needed to play on each of these. Like, I will look for the open and high. I will look for like and whether the previous day's close is getting broken. And we look for the morning trade. We look for the 320 trades. All those are going to be giving me plenty and plenty of opportunities for a scalper. So one more thing which we have done is, along with the morning trade, we also do a 320 strategy. Today evening, if I'm a trader, who would have taken a trade exactly at 320? You can clearly see the 320, the signal came at 5, 450, and then the market went and closed at 530. All I require is 10 minutes to scalp those 70, 80 points. <laughs> so the signal exactly came at 450 at 320. And like an, as a scalper, if I can scalp for 40, 50 points, my day is completely done. <laughs> what more I need? That's true. But sure, tell me, honestly, uh, you can't make money every day, no? We can, provided you are with like in a great discipline and other things. Even I had some rough days. I'm not saying that like in the trader will not have a rough days. But the problem with many traders is they don't stop with like in trading after achieving their target. We make the biggest mistake many traders do, including myself in the past is we come into the market thinking that between 9.15 and 3.30, the market has been paying you to do the job and you need to trade the whole day. That's not the way. If you know this is the target which I wanted to accomplish, achieve it and then get out of the market today my like in the last trade came at around 230 i didn't participate at all on the downside the reason is you have made enough money shiva why you wanted to like and go and keep on trading it there are like in maybe five ten trades which i would have taken it you needed to understand where you need to take and where you should be avoiding it but yes out of 20 days you might have like in rough days of two days three days the biggest thing is if you can cut down your losses to the same level as you are earning it from the market, then it is not going to have an impact at all. But definitely, yes, Vivek, there are people who have been making consistent returns day in, day out, using scalping and also being intraday traders. I have seen them. Of course, uh, even I would uh, acknowledge this because there are some of the guys in my firm also doing it for many Absolutely. years, almost 10 to 11 Absolutely, years. Absolutely, yes. Uh, did That's you did you face amount. any uh, monthly loss? Any 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 particular month which you have faced loss or something? Yes, not a monthly loss. I would not say it, but I would have had and like a couple of rough events. Like in, uh, you were talking about the traders' carnival, right? The previous traders' carnival when we did it on that particular day. We had a uh, huge drawdown of like in 15 lakh. By end of the day, we came out with like an uh, almost like in a 3 lakh profit. That means like and we made almost like in a oh, 25 lakh on that day. So it was like in, one crore. Oh uh, yes. Oh yes. good. It's like an uh, it was like an uh, yeah. As a scalper, like an you will have like an uh, such a drawdown, and you needed to be ready for that. But yes, we I broke few rules. When only when you're breaking your rules, the market treats you that way. As long as you you do like and stick with whatever the things which you have been doing, it fine. The market doesn't do anything. The biggest thing many traders lose is once they get into the habit. Yes, this is what. Then they keep on increasing their target, looking at others M to M rather than looking at their own capital. Once you start understanding my capital is this much, this is what my, I can achieve it using this, then you will have like an, your own sweet time to, to make money as long as you are there consistent. Cool. I'm going to ask the last question. Uh, sorry, Samir, I would have loved to ask you a question, but it's going to take a lot of time, maybe some other time. Alok uh, is asking, when is your second edition of the book coming? Okay. It's like an option scalping mentoring guide. Vivek, we did this uh, mentoring guide uh, when we contacted some mentoring programs. It was done during the fourth mentoring program. Currently, we are doing the sixth mentoring. We have planned the seventh mentoring in January and September, uh, sorry, February. That was going to be like in a 20-day live session in Jan and Feb. 
by end of the february session we are going to have a lot of new strategies also discussed in that and i'm coming with, with the second edition with all the new things hopefully by end of february we might have an, another book getting released the first edition got successfully sold out completely so we will do the second edition in february awesome awesome so guys so uh, it's almost there so you'll be receiving it stay tuned well uh, thank you guys for uh, conduct uh, for attending this one and uh, it's uh, 6:45 and shiva has been generous to give the uh, precious 45 minutes so if you want to hear more from him learn more from him december he's coming out with a 3 day uh, session live session with us that link is given below this video with a discount coupon code vb25 you know whenever i come i have to give you something so apart from knowledge helping you to save your cost is vb25 go and use it and attend this awesome session which she was going to conduct because his track record of the sessions is pretty decent shiva thank you so much it was fun talking to you have a great uh, sessions ahead and a great market time thanks thanks vivek and uh, if we don't connect again before the new year uh, advance the new year wishes to you and uh, have a safe year ahead i know like and you have just recovered from covid take care of yourself and see you soon Thank you thank you good night and take care have a in advance happy new year and i'm anyways going to call you during the new years thank you <laughs> bye bye thank take you care so bye so guys uh, that this was siva and uh, it was pretty good in what he does um uh, now uh, ek choti si baat karni thi aap logo se mere channel pe uh, kitne 14 minute baad ek video aane wala hai uh, us video mein main aap se baat karne wala hu nike paytm इन सब में इन्वेस्ट करना है कि नहीं करना है तो देखिएगा जरूर छोटी सी बात है दस मिनट पे दस मिनट की बस वो हार्ट टू हार्ट कॉन्वर्जेशन है तो आई एम श्योर दैट यू नो यू विल लाइक दैट कॉन्वर्जेशन एंड मे बी यू विल फाइंड वैल्यू एंड व्हाट आई एम सेइंग करना है कि नहीं करना है देखिए आपके ऊपर है बट मुझे जो बोलना है वो मैंने बोल दिया है तो गो टू माई चैनल पर्सनल यूट्यूब चैनल एंड सेवन ओ क्लॉक आई एम गोइंग टू रिलीज दैट वीडियो एज पार्ट ऑफ वेंट स्टे special video thank you take care guys and have a great life ahead bye bye